Hi, my name is Elisa, dance director at Elisa's House of Salsa, located here in Westville, Connecticut. I'm so excited to be joining you today for another series of storytelling with Elisa. We're traveling to Cuba today. I'm so excited to read this book. Welcome. We're heading to Cuba. Cuba is an island country. It reaches from the Gulf of Mexico on its west coast to the Atlantic Ocean on its east coast. The Caribbean Sea touches Cuba's southern coast. The Bahamas and the U.S. state of Florida are Cuba's neighbors to the north. Jamaica lies to the south. Haiti is Cuba's closest neighbor. It sits to the southeast. The land in Cuba. Low plains and rolling hills make up much of Cuba. Farmland and tropical trees cover these areas. Look at how green. Mountains rise beyond green farm fields and tropical trees. Mountains rise up in other parts of the country. The Sierra Maestra is a mountain range in the southeast, the island's highest point, which includes Pico Torquino. The Organos and the Rosario Ranges lie in western Cuba. A sea of life, coral reefs from just off of Cuba's coast. Reefs or ridges, tiny animals called coral polyps build them. That's so fascinating. This tropical fish is called a sergeant major. It is swimming over fan corals of Cuba's coast. Coral reefs are full of life. Small fish, eels, sponges, and other sea animals make their homes in these reefs. This gives them protection. Turtles, sharks, and other large fish roam in the area hunting for food. Wow. Two seasons. Cuba is warm all year. My type of weather. The island is just two seasons. The dry season runs from November to April. May through October is the rainy season. Hurricanes can strike during the rainy season. These storms form over ocean waters. They bring lots of rain and strong winds. Uh, people, many people in modern Cuba have ancestors, long ago relatives, who were Spanish settlers. Other Cubans have African roots. These Cuban musicians are of African descent. They are playing drums for a crowd in Havana. I could almost hear the music coming off of the congas. About half the Cubans are a mixture of Spanish, African, and Arawak backgrounds. They make up the largest group. A small number of Chinese people live in Cuba too. Havana sits on Cuba's north coast. The capital is home to government offices and universities. More than two million people live in the city. In old Havana, historic buildings line the streets. Musicians and dancers entertain people in open squares. People can buy roasted nuts and other snacks at food stands. Getting around, Cuba streets are filled with people on foot and on bicycles. Cars, motorcycles, taxis, and buses are also getting, also get people where they need to go. And tourists can ride around Havana in Coco taxis. These small open taxis are shaped like little eggs. The food in Cuba. Cubans often eat rice and beans at dinner. Meals might also include pork, chicken, or fish. Slices of tomato and cucumbers add color to the meal. School. All schools in Cuba start at the age of five. They stay in school until the age of 15. They study math, science, government, history, and Spanish. Then they may go to high school that prepares them for college or for a job training school. All education is free, including college. What do you wear to school? Cuban students wear uniforms. Students in grades one through six wear red scarves around their necks, as seen here in this book. Families. Cuban families are close. They often live together in small houses or apartments. Parents, children, and grandparents may live together. Kids usually live at home until they get married. Most Cubans live in cities. Concentrate concrete apartment buildings fill city blocks. Apartments are usually crowded. 
Music and dance. Music and dance are at the heart of Cuban culture. Cuban music combines Spanish guitar with African drum beats. Maracas and claves add lively rhythm. Claves are wooden sticks. Soul music pairs the two instruments with songs about love of the country. Mambo, rumba, and salsa came from soul music. Each of these is a dance as well as a musical style. Men twirl women and lead them around the dance floor. Colorful skirts swish and spin as the women dance. Well, I'm glad we packed our bags today and headed to Cuba. We learned a little bit more about the country's landscape, culture, and their people. All right, are you ready to start our dance portion of this fun series? All right, this is called bachata. So again, we're gonna get our posture, our, pop, our bachata posture together. All right, bend the knees, back nice and straight. We're gonna step one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two. And so in bachata, what you're doing is you are moving your hips, you're swaying, but it's important that we count our steps. Here we go, we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, good. Don't forget to move those hips and shoulders, that's right. Oh yeah. I think I feel a nice tropical breeze coming through, good. Let's move our arms like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So you'll notice that I am tapping on a four and an eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good. Now you're gonna add everything together, the shoulders, the hips, and the footwork, and that's how you dance the basic steps of a chata. Are we ready? Here we go. Give me that bachata face of yours. Oh yeah. Big smiles. All right, let's count this out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Five, six, eight, four. And if you really want to break this down, we can step it out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Four. Good. Keeping your posture up. That's important when you're dancing. Latin dancing especially because sometimes you will have a partner, but right now we have imaginary partners. One, two, three, four, eight, four. Good. Eight. All right. All right, let me hear you count. Are we ready? One, two, three, four. I can't hear you. One more time. Good job. That is your bachata. Excellent. All right, don't forget, practice, practice, practice. That's how you're gonna become a great bachata dancer. All right.